Good morning, my lovelies. I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful day. We had some storms last night, some thunder, some lightning, blah, blah, blah. But I woke up to a nice morning. It's still overcast and cloudy, and we're probably going to have another afternoon thunderstorm, but that's okay. That's just normal for us, you know. But I went out. I allowed myself to go out since I had gotten so much work done. I allowed myself to go out to Salvation Army. I picked up a few things, uh, mostly stuff that I'm going to put on eBay, like belts and things like that. Uh, I will shoot a video about the things I got anyway. I did pick up a couple of things you guys might like. I got a really cute rooster lamp thing. Um, it's all ceramic and it's really, really cute. It's got like this ceramic shade on it and it was new in the box. So it's not really vintage. But it's got that vintage feel and it's just cute it's really colorful and cute and everything so i picked that up and i'm trying to think what else i got you oh i got a little scotty dog and i got a little uh crystal like heart i think it's a heart shaped um like a paperweight kind of thing just a few things i thought you guys might think were kind of cute and then some stuff for ebay you know like like i said some belts and things like that so I'm going to go and hit a different thrift store now and see what I can find there because I want to get back home before it starts raining on me. <laughs> so I'm going to go run down the road a few miles, throw some gas in the car so that I don't have to walk in the rain. That would be bad. And see if they have anything there. I'm really honestly out today just looking for Christmas and Halloween stuff. I haven't found that yet, but maybe I will at the next place. Like I said, I'm probably going to, you know, I was talking about this last night, probably going to end up going to some estate sales because that's probably where I'm going to have better luck finding this stuff. Some of these thrift stores just don't carry the, the Halloween and Christmas, you know, holiday stuff. They just don't do it really. So I might check out this other one. If they don't have anything, then, you know, so be it. I'll just go home. No big deal. So I am going to head that direction. So this is in the second thrift store, the second Salvation Army I'd went, I had gone into. This is the larger of the two in the area. Um, so I found, you know, a few things in this store. Not a whole lot, but we'll run through them real quick. I found, uh, I did end up picking up this little set. It was new in the box. And it was a little pig plate with cup and in a little bowl. Thought that was kind of cute, um, little kid set. And then I ended up finding uh, <clears throat> a piece of milk glass there. I'm not sure of the age. I'm gonna have to kind of do some research on it. It has um, like an antique gold brushed finish around it. It's like a seashell border. I thought it was kind of interesting. I haven't seen one like that, so I did end up picking that up off the shelf and putting in my basket and it actually stayed in my basket and made it to check out which is kind of strange for me sometimes. Again, I'm kind of just showing you what's around. I'm not finding a whole lot that's, you know, super interesting in this store. They have a lot of stuff, but just not anything I really was looking for. Because I was mainly, honestly, I was trying to be a little particular. I was looking for things that, you know, caught my eye that I thought was something special, something different. I did like that trinket box, but it didn't have a price on it. So I wasn't going to wait around for them to price that for me. But, um, like I was saying, I was trying to find more of like holiday kind of things, like Christmas or Halloween, since we have our Christmas sale coming up. And, you know, I just wanted to find that kind of thing. So I was being a little more particular of what I was picking up and actually putting in the cart today. And unfortunately, my the Salvation Armies I have around here in this area don't really carry a lot of, like, holiday kind of things. I mean, I'm sure closer to those holidays they'll have more. But at this time of the year, they, real, they just don't really put it out for you. I guess maybe they store it till you know closer to the holidays, but you'll find a piece every once in a while. 
So that's why I was kind of just going through and window shopping, essentially. That was some of that boopy glass, uh, the candlesticks, the double candlesticks. They had a decent price on those, but I just wasn't really sure anyone would be interested in those. Unless it's somebody that's a collector of that kind of thing. And again, I was trying to be on my best behavior and pick up things that you know, were holiday related or something extra special, or I thought was extra special. A little kissing angel, boy and girl. I did like that single candle holder there, but I like to buy those in doubles when I can. This was really kind of cute. Very colorful, trunk up elephant. But it was priced a little higher than I wanted to pay for it, honestly. This one was, you know, that was more of a modern, like, candle, like a votive, or not a votive, but like a pillar candle holder. And again, it was a single. I might would have picked that up if there had been two of them. Kind of glancing through the cups. I'm not seeing anything, you know, that exciting. I do like to buy my mugs, but they're kind of picked over in there. I did like that set. It didn't have a maker on it. It, it really kind of reminded me of Oda Geary. But I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't, but it was that kind of style. On first examination, I thought that was, um, I thought it might be blue sky, something like that. And when I picked it up, I noticed uh, it seemed like it was supposed to have some wings on the back. So I didn't want to buy anything damaged. Anytime I can, you know, help and anytime I can see the damage and know it's there, I, I try not to pick it up. They do get by you sometimes, though. Faults graph. I do like some of the faults graph stuff. I, I'm not going to lie. kind of looking through the dishes there because I'm trying to find some replacement pieces for my dishes that I have at home that are my own. I've had them for years and I did actually buy them at a thrift store many, many years ago. And they're like a mid-century pattern, um, like the atomic or a starburst pattern in the turquoise on a white background. And there was two different companies that made the exact same pattern. So anytime I go out, I try to find them in the wild because I do need several replacement pieces. But I haven't been fortunate enough yet to find it. I may end up having to break down and actually going, you know, go on eBay or someplace like that to, or replacements.com to try to find some, um, some of the pieces that I need. I keep hoping that I'm going to find them in the wild and again one day but <laughs> it hasn't happened yet and you guys know you know after years and years and years you you have breakage occur so I'm down to you know just a few bowls I need to find some more bowls I need to find some more I need to find more pretty much all of it I've had breakage in pretty much every kind of piece that come with it I've actually considered like replacing it, you know, getting a new set of something, but I really like it. So I, I just, I haven't done it. I haven't found anything else I like as much. So 
If I can't find replacement, for, you know, replacement pieces for it, I'll probably end up switching it out and getting something different, but I'm not to that point yet. I haven't given up yet. So from the distance, I thought that was an ostrich egg, and of course when I got closer and felt it and turned it around, I realized it was like a faux ostrich egg. So it was still cute, but nothing I was really interested in. A cute little dog. Of course, that ball thing that was behind it, when I tried to put the dog back, it rolled around. And of course, I stopped myself so that I could fix that because I was afraid that someone would come over there and pick up that trinket dish in front of it and that would roll off and break. And so I was like, Gina, correct yourself. Go back and fix what you messed up. I found that little blue dish. It wasn't that old, though, I don't believe. And I thought this piece was really cute. It was a little girl holding a kitten. But she had been decapitated at some point, and somebody had glued her head back on her body. So I did see that damage and put her back. This was a nice piece as well. The maker was on the bottom. I'm sure it was collectible. I'm sure it would have been great for eBay, but there was a lot of chipping around the edges on the bottom there, unfortunately. I picked that up because I thought it might be like an older piece, but after I picked it up and felt it, I decided it was not. It just seemed a little too chintzy. Oh, and look at this guy. I loved him. Look at that face. I picked him up and examined him and looked him over. He, you know, had all his fingers and everything, but he didn't have a price on him. And again, I was kind of in a hurry, so I didn't want to have to get him price. So I ended up leaving the poor little guy there. This is Mason's, uh, made in England. I don't remember what the pattern is. I've had this before, but I cannot remember the name of the pattern right now off you know, off the top of my head, and it's the, you know, two-handle cream soup balls. If you guys find those out in the wild and they're an older piece, they do sell really well on eBay. A lot of people collect those, and I just think they're beautiful, and those were in good shape. They didn't have any chips or cracks, no damage I could see anywhere, not even along the bottom edge, so I did go ahead and grab those. There was only two there. I always like it when I can get, you know, like a set of four, but I'm sure somebody, you know, that's looking for replacements like I am for dishes, and they have that, they'll be, you know, happy to get the two anyway. I really like these wooden ducks, but that one was priced at $20, and that one was priced at $25, so a little out of my range. They were very nice pieces, though. Still looking at some of the wood and basket kind of stuff. And so I decided, you know, let me let me make one more round through the store, make sure I haven't missed anything. Because I was getting very distracted. This is the store I do not frequent because, you know, they have what I call the vulture squad that sits at the back and waits for a cart to come out and then they dive on it as quick as they possibly can to make sure they get all the goodies out where anybody else can touch it. I thought this was funny. Nice little teapot, but it was missing the lid. So they took like this little underplate kind of thing and flipped it over the top of it. I was like, well, that's, that's different.
so yeah this is this is the store that I've have avoided for a while because this is the one I got so frustrated in last time and since I was being a little more particular today I was like you know I'm just going to shop the shelves. I'm not going to worry about what they're doing back there. If there's anything on the shelves that I like, I'll pick it up. Otherwise, I'll just leave the store. No big deal. That was just a little Made in China mug. I just thought it was pretty. Okay, so I just left that thrift store. Uh, as you see, I was able to get a little bit of footage in there. Some of the stuff I picked up I ended up putting back because it was just like... I just wasn't feeling it. You know, you do this, pick things up and then you purge your cart. So I ended up getting, I think, like four or five little things, nothing spectacular. And I'm trying to think if I picked up anything you guys would even like. I don't know. I don't even remember what I got now. But this is the store I pledged I was not coming back to, and I hadn't been to in a while. Uh, since the last time I said something about the store because this is the one that has the scavengers that sit at the back of the store and as soon as they bring a cart of stuff out they pounce on it like it's the last crumb of bread and we're in the apocalypse so <clears throat> I don't like the store I was in and out very quickly I was in there for maybe 15 minutes and that's not normal for me I like to go in and you know like actually look at things and take my time and see if there's anything you know check for cracks and chips and blah 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 and just take my time and enjoy it but not in the store I was in out done so there's one more store I'm gonna go to that usually has some Christmassy stuff I don't know how vintage it is or anything like that so I'm gonna go check it out really quick it's just right down the road a few minutes so I'm gonna see if there's anything in there and I don't know if I'll be able to get any footage in there or not because that store is jam-packed full all the time and people get offended. So if I can, I will because I like to show stuff to you guys when I'm going along so you can get an idea um, and show you kind of what I'm thinking when I go back, you know, and edit. So let's go see what we can find. So I found a few things that are Christmas or Halloween or neither of the above. I got a picture that I'm keeping for myself. It's like Fisherman's Wharf kind of thing from 1977. I love it. It's a pencil drawing. Um, but yeah, I got a few bags of stuff here. You're not going to see it because it is for my Christmas sale. And just like Christmas, you have to be surprised. So I'm about to head home from this store and then uh, unload all this goodness. Okay, I'm on way home I don't know why my camera is acting crazy and not focusing but okay whatever you do you so anyway I am nearly home and luckily this when it goes out of focus like that it's, it reminds me of my um, the um, I can't talk hello I get <laughs> I get distracted easily when it goes out of focus like that it reminds me of the um, when I don't have my contacts in. <laughs> that's how I see normally without my contact lenses so <laughs> when I see it it's like oh I need I need my glasses and my contact lenses I don't have them on it's just my cameras being weird so anyway I'm nearly home gonna go unload all this stuff and see what I got because I have a couple of mystery bags myself that I've got to go through that I'm not sure exactly what's in them I bought them kind of just like I glanced at the outside and was like yeah hey, I don't know what's in there so I'm gonna go through and see if there's anything cool in it I took a gamble and you know I tell a cat earlier I used to take and I'm gonna go back to hopefully very soon. I used to take gambles on storage units all the time. You know, you can't see what's in those boxes and bags and stuff. You just hope there's something in there. So I took a gamble today. I was like, if I can take a gamble on a big old storage unit, surely I can take a gamble on a couple of little bags. So that's what I did. So that should be interesting to go through. Unfortunately, when I get home, I forgot to eat. I haven't eaten all day and it is now nearly four o'clock 
and I have got to take my daughter's friend into work that spent the night with us. So, she's got to go to work, and she has no way to get there, so of course I am the ride. <clears throat> I get volunteered for all kinds of cool stuff like that. Um, one interesting thing I found at one of their stores this morning, I found this metal sign I'm probably going to end up keeping because I was like, it's so apropos for my life. And it says, I'll show it to you guys. Um, I'll do like a little haul or something so I can show it to you. I'll show it to you sometime. But it says, I think it's like mom's bed and breakfast or something. It's a metal sign. And it has like 20, open 24 seven. And it has like maid service, laundress, chauffeur, you know, <laughs> chef. It has all these jobs on there. And I'm sitting there going, yeah, that's me. So I was like, that's very appropriate. So I picked that up. The guy that was in line behind me was laughing at me. He goes, you can hang that up anywhere you want to in your house, but it's not like they're going to pay attention to it. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I know you're right. I was like, but I have some friends that will think it's pretty funny, I think. So, he's like, well, I think it's hilarious. He said, but just so you know, your kids are not going to even notice it or pay attention to it. Or, you know, you <laughs> you trying to get a message across. I was like, yeah, I know. But, you know, <laughs> at least I can chuckle every time I walk past it. I think I'm going to put it in a prominent location. So, when they do something like ask me for money or a ride or whatever, I can just point at it. I'll be pointing at that sign all the time. So anyway, all right, I'm nearly home and I'm so glad I could take you guys shopping with me a little bit today. I hope you enjoyed it because I sure as heck did and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.